Good morning, sons. How you guys doing? It is uh, two days before the day they call Thanksgiving. And uh, I don't know when you'll see this video because I don't know. <laughs> but um, just uh, saying hello to you as this uh, holiday approaches. I think it's imperative that, as I've told you many times before, that this, ho this, this holiday is, is a holiday based on the stealing of this country, the, the murder, the pillaging, and the rape of this country, of this land, rather, um, by a group of people. It was by, by the white man, but it was by certain people, most who happen to be white. But it's up for discussion as we're finding out new things about history every day. So we don't focus on race. We focus on the pillaging and the killing. And so where they've turned this into a day to celebrate Thanksgiving, to be thankful. The only people to be thankful are the people who stole everything. And there's some people that came and stole everything. <laughs> Killed millions of people and stole their land. But yet, we have uh, turned it into a holiday of a joyous occasion. And while I must tell you the realness of, of it, I must tell you the real history of it as much as I know. Because anybody that claims to tell you they know full history is a goddamn liar. Nobody knows exactly what happened. Nobody knows the color of every person that has been an oppressor. There have been black oppressors, white oppressors, green, red, yellow, whatever the hell. <coughs> Pardon. But we have now turned this into a joyous occasion of family. And I'm not going to be there with you for this, this, this holiday yet again. I think this is the third year that I'm not with you for Thanksgiving. And I'm not really hurt by it, not being with you on a holiday like this. Nor Christmas, as you know, I'm not a Christian at all as well. Neither are you. <laughs> but um, uh, just to uh, tell you that I do miss cooking for you every, every Thanksgiving. It was awesome to cook. We used to make the ham and the turkey and the... Oh man, your moms used to love it. You used to love it. Chase loved it. Yo, obviously you love my cooking and I love even more cooking for you. But I'm not doing that this year and I'm bouncing around and boom, bam. Luckily I'm with good people. I'm in the studio working, working my ass off. Seven in the morning to three in the, and three in the morning with a couple of breaks, but I'm constantly at work trying to, trying to, uh, trying to, you know, to uh, make this a reality and become uh, successful, as, they, as the word, successful. I consider myself already successful, but the bank doesn't. <laughs> the bank has not called me successful yet, even though they're not going to see a lick of my money. But, um, when I get it, but um, just wanted to tell you that I love you. And I miss you. Today is Tuesday, the whatever, the whatever, the 20-something. It's cold up here. It just snowed yesterday. The day before yesterday, it snowed um, in St. Louis again. And um, I hope you guys are doing okay. I understand that you all got in some kind of trouble with mom. Took your phone from you. It's all right, man. You're going to do dumb shit. Just do the dumb shit now. That's all I'm saying is do the dumb shit now. Don't do it later. Get it out of your system. Get it out of your system because the last thing you want to do is be 44 years old doing dumb shit. I'm 44, getting ready to be 45. I pretty much refrain totally from doing the dumb shit. And um, I'm pretty much done with the dumb shit. Although maybe I do make mistakes, but I don't do dumb shit anymore. And um, I just uh, want you to have a wonderful day. You know, I told you how smart I think you are. You're way, both of you guys are way smarter than I was at your age. But you're not, you don't, uh, you need more drive. And maybe because I'm not there every day, I'm not giving you that drive. I'm not busting your ass when you, you know, keep you moving. And uh, so I'm going to have to count on you to, to know and feel that drive within yourselves. You know, I can only talk to you. I'm, I'm coming, I'm, hopefully I'll be there for Christmas. I'm not going to make any guarantees. I got a job I'm going to in New York an actual job to work to make some cash so that I can, although I don't celebrate Christmas in your house, you do. And so I'm going to respect that and try to get you guys a gift. Um, 
and not be the total party pooper. Uh, but I love you and miss you guys. Have a great day. Hug each other. You're the only two. You're the only people you got. Your mom and I. Your mom and I. You never know. We get no. Well, I am. She'll never admit to that. But I am about to be 45 years old in three weeks. Two weeks. Huh. <laughs> As you can see, the bald. Huh. That's you, son. This is you, son. This is you. See that? <laughs> You're going to have it too. You're going to be baldy just like I was. Just like I am. It's like my pop up. Just like your pop up was. But you're great. You're great guys. And you guys are going to save the world. I do not joke when I tell you that you're going to save the world. And um, it's just my job to get you to safety. Watch a lot of bullshit videos on YouTube and you watch play a lot of bullshit games and you're wasting your fucking life doing that. And I'm being straight up honest with you. If I was still there in the house, you would not be playing that bullshit ass PlayStation. You would not be fucking around wasting your life. And at some point this message is gonna hit home to you. But there's a lot of bullshit going on in this world right now. It's much worse than even when I told when I, the last time I was there talking to you a couple of weeks ago or a month ago or whatever I was there. It's getting worse and worse by the minute. And I have to get you out of this country. Got to get you guys out of this country at some point. It'll be the time will, will come. Everything is working according to plan. Your mother doesn't agree, of course, but that's not her job. And I don't have any anger towards her for the way she is about me. She's doing what she has to do for you. That's her job. The mother. She's the mother of the cubs and she's going to make sure you motherfuckers, is, you know, but it's my job to look in the future and see what's going on. And it just happens to be World War III. We're in the middle of World War III. Make no mistake about it. The history books have to be written first in order to describe this as World War III. But we're in the middle of World War III. And it's my job to make sure that I get you away from the center of it. Which this, it, although it's not the Middle East where the, the bombs are being dropped... Here is where the war is being made from. And uh, although it's, it's, it's America, it's not Americans. We are not, it's not us doing it, it's our government. And I just gotta get you to safety. And I will, by boat, plane, train, I'll ride a bike over water, whatever, we gonna get the fuck up out of here, including your mom. Your mom and I will never be together <laughs> like that, it's not gonna happen. I even tried one last time, just because I thought it would be good. I just thought it would be good for us to be together, for you guys. But, and I'm always going to love your mom. Always. No matter what she says about me, what she says to me, she is the mother of my kids, and I'm always going to love her. But that ain't happening, bro. <laughs> so, the main thing I have to just focus on is continue to teach you and tell you so that it's not a surprise. You won't be surprised when you got to up and roll. You're going to have to up and leave. Just pack a bag now. Sometime next year, this shit is going to hit the fan, as they say. And I'm making sure that I'm ready. I'm ready, you know, and it'll be to a point where your mom won't even be, won't even argue it. And, and I hate that it has to come to all the way to that point. Be very dramatic. But it is what it is. I've already got the place. I already know where. I'm not saying anything about it now. But it's all falling into place. And I miss you and I love you guys. You have a wonderful day. Whatever time of day you see this. Chase, I miss you so much, little dude. But we're going to be together again. And there's going to be times where you're going to be wishing, man, when is dad leaving? Because <laughs> dad's going to be all in your face. All in your grill, boy. But you guys are on the right path. Just Blake, them girls, dude, 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 chill, chill. You got time. Don't let them girls fuck your head up. Don't let them fuck your head up. And don't let the fact that people like you so much, don't let that fuck your head up either. And because you happen to be very handsome, looking like your father, very handsome, minus the beard, <laughs> don't let the girls fuck your head up, man. You can really fuck your head up. So, 
that's it. I'm out of here. Time to get back back to work. It's music. It's musical love. And uh, I'm out. You know what daddy says. Deuces.